Hi there, this is Sam McAllister for Autodesk Australia and I want to do a quick overview of Navisworks Manage. For those of you not familiar with Navisworks Manage or how you actually get it, I just want to highlight here that it's available inside of the Autodesk AEC Collections. So AEC Collections were released in August of 2016 and this gives you the option to subscribe to our software and get access to a huge amount of products. So we have our collection including the Hero products like Revit and AutoCAD Civil 3D and Infoworks, but you also get numerous other applications with it. And the one I want to talk about today is Navisworks Manage. We did used to have Navisworks Manage and Navisworks Simulate as separate applications inside of the old Building Design Suite Premiums and Ultimates, but now with the AEC Industry Collections, you will get the full version of Navisworks Manage. So just to take you through the basic interface of Navisworks, it has like all of Autodesk applications a ribbon interface. And this will allow you to bring in different file formats where you can open them up from scratch. It will open up to 56 different file formats from other companies here that I'm showing on the screen and various versions of those file formats. You can also append and merge information as you work through your designs. We've got some really powerful selection and find tools here to help you manage the information that you're bringing into your model. So here on the left is my selection tree and all the data that I've brought in from the structural model and the mechanical model and we have numerous tools here to allow us to add these to what's called uh, sets to select all the information that we need at one time. Plus we have a tool called Find Items that allows us to find all the information in the model based on certain properties. We have uh, quick properties and properties available here so if you want to find that information on a certain object you're going to be able to read all this data that's embedded within that particular element from the authoring tool. We have our core tools here inside of Navisworks, which I'll go through in four separate uh, videos. Number one is going to be uh, Clash Detective, and I'll be touching on this uh, alongside BIM 360 Glue, which is our cloud version of Clash Detective. I'll also uh, go over Timeliner and how you can work with Timeliner to do simulation of a construction program. So you can actually bring in a construction program from another file format. So maybe you're bringing in it in from uh, Primavera or uh, another data source, source. We have several different file formats that you can bring in here. And you can set this up to auto attach to the geometry of the building and then run a construction simulation. And with that construction simulation, you can start to look at the different dates and times things start and finish. You can also uh, add more information about date and time, costs, extras, as needed to see how your construction program is progressing in a 3D environment. The other application I'll be touching on is our quantification application. And this is called uh, QTO, quant uh, quantity take, Autodesk Quantity Takeoff. We do have tutorials as well to take you through this, uh, but what you can do if you're just getting started on this is you can use the standard workbooks that come with the application and this will load in uh, the workbook into a selection tree here and you can go through the model and do takeoffs and it will extract that information about the length and the width and the volume and the weight of certain as objects and load them into this workbook, which you can then export out as an XML or an Excel spreadsheet. So this is a really powerful tool that comes within Navisworks for doing quantity takeoffs. The uh, other ones which I'll touch on for the visual workflows will be Autodesk Rendering. So if you've used any other Autodesk applications, we have uh, material libraries here that will allow you to map onto the object and we can set up lighting and environment and produce photo near uh, photo near photo real renderings. And we can also run these on the cloud as well. We have access to the cloud via Navisworks. And for anybody who needs to do construction simulation of say vehicles like a crane, 
I'll show you how you're going to be able to bring a crane in here, set it up in the animator, and have it spinning around, say, 360 degrees, 180 degrees, to reach equipment that's been dropped off on site and then loaded up to the building. So these will be the core things I'll be touching on. Uh, please tune in to the next four videos to uh, see the overview of each one of these features.